Collusion. All right. I have the. I had the Kazakhstan team playing. I like playing that. Okay. Okay, audio sync is there. All right, you're, you're all set. Uh, we'll give you a call. Uh, I believe so, yeah. So we'll give you a yeah. Form. We emailed you a copy, and we'll give you a call as soon as we have some news. Great, sounds good. Oh, uh, this is for the computer. Oh, okay. That's cool. I, mean. I thought you were. All right. This is cool. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, so. thank you. All right. Okay. Wish me luck. I also have one for Steve, so when he recovers data successfully, we play this. How can we help? It is not a very high chance of recovery. On the 53rd question, One quick thing I forgot to mention. Sure. Go for it. The data on the device is unimportant. It would be expensive. Okay. So as long as the machine's in working. All right, no worries. Thank you. I still haven't had time to put my water cooling setup together. It's all sitting in the box over there. Uh, always somebody else's computer to work on. Never mind. There's like a $400 water cooling setup in the box. It's like right over there. I can even see it. There's no time, because other people's computers must be fixed. All right, so today we have a machine. It is a Touch Bar MacBook Pro. This is a Touch Bar MacBook Pro, and it is not giving us 20 volts on the charger. So when I attempt to plug it in and get 20 volts from the charger, first thing, uh, yeah. when Anel takes these boards out, he always keeps the fucking charging port screwed into the case. Why is beyond me. This should be always attached to this as one piece. Get the... F Charge port out of there. And I like to keep it screwed in here because it comes off really easily, but I don't feel like looking through this thing for the screws to it. Here we go. Mother flower. No collusion, my friends. No collusion.
Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, it, it, unfortunately these models are pretty bad. Uh, they often develop dead CPUs. <coughs> this isn't a case for your device, but it's still usually quite good. <laughs> yeah, they're working around the audio chip, which is near the CPU. Um, and there's a specific capacitor that was All right, so let's demonstrate the problem with this board. I wish I had a stream assistant sometimes. I need to get a better stand for the overhead camera. Okay, so as can barely be seen here, okay, it's taking 5 volts at 200 milliamps. So it's 5 volts at 200 milliamps. Now, 5 volts at 200 milliamps means that our CD3215 circuit, which is the USB-C MUX chip, that's going to be this. This is going to be allow the charger to speak to the computer. This is going to do the speaking. It's going to do the negotiating. This thing says, hi, are you a charger? Are you DisplayPort? Are you Thunderbolt? Are you USB 3? Are you USB 2? Are you video out? What are you? And so that's what these chips do. And there's one of them for each USB-C port. Now. For those chips to start working, uh, they need to get their voltage input. And on the older MacBooks, PP3V42 underscore G3Hot was the rail for that circuit that spoke to the charger. On these machines, PP3V3 underscore G3Hot does a lot of the same thing. So let's open up a schematic and a board view and see what's going on there. I'm going to open up much schematic, much board view, and... We figure it out from there. Roar. All right, so where is this? Oh, where is schematic and board? Where did I put this stuff? And I'm going to have some. Here's the cool thing about having the in ear in monitors, the Bluetooth ones, and also recording my audio separately. So, one thing I started doing recently, by the way, is I record my audio separately in Vegas, and I do a little clap to sync it up in the beginning, is that this is only recording from the microphone, whereas OBS is recording from the microphone and desktop audio, so I could actually have music in my stream, and, but then I can take the music off when I want to do the main video so nobody hears it. So on my main channel, I don't have to deal with a copyright strike. On this channel, it won't be monetized, but like this channel doesn't make me any money anyway. Actually, the other one barely makes any money, but this one... Is truly doesn't make shit. It's like eight or nine hundred a month usually, and I've decided that it's not worth eight to nine hundred dollars a month to not be able to listen to my music. So I'm gonna play some stuff, and I can play music while I work now, and also keep it out of the main videos to keep them from getting shut down from the other. Okay. Test. All right, so that's good enough. I'll up my volume here. Beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the PP3V42 underscore G3 hot circuit. Now, the board from last night is sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Where it belongs. Piece of shit. Somewhere around here. Yeah, U6903. So U6903, what U6903 is going to do is it is going to take either the 18 volts from my charger or the 12 volts from my battery and turn it into PP3V3 underscore G3Hot. Bumtris says you can record multiple channels in OBS. Yeah, but that shit doesn't actually work. You think it works, but when you try to use that feature, it doesn't fucking work. You think it works. I know you think that feature works, and that's, a, that's adorable. That's, that, that's cute, but no, it doesn't work. Especially if you want to record at, in anything lossless. If you want to record to some sort of lossless format, then it doesn't. Uh, at least it has, didn't work when I tried it the last time. The last time I tried it, though, it was OBS like, s version 16 or 15 or something like that. So it's been a really long time. Maybe it's changed. But when I tried it, that shit did not work at all. That was a joke. Anyway, 
So now the problem that was stated with this machine is that regardless of what happens, it's always 1.7 volts on output. This was and Anel said that he could not figure out why this was always stuck at 1.7 volts on output. And he also said that he's able to inject 3.3 volts in and get this thing to work, but it doesn't want to create 1.7 volts internally. So we're going to have to just confirm if what he's saying is correct. It seems it is. So the output of this circuit over here is only giving us, at the output, this is only giving us 1.7 volts. So let's take a look at what that looks like on the board. Okay, it looks like this area has been fluxed, reworked, chips replaced, and all that good stuff. So we're just going to check a couple of things before we go replacing things. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see what is present on the input of the chip or on the supply pin. So usually you see voltage in or V in on the top or VDD or VCC. Here it's a little different. Here it's SUP. And SUP does not mean supper, it means supply. Although it could also mean supper as in the chip needs to eat in order to, to create its power. So it's not going to create its power. The same way I'm not going to fix boards unless I get my food, my burrito, this chip needs its supper in order to create PP3v3 underscore G3 hot. So first thing I want to do is see what's coming in on pin 2 of the chip. We're going to check pin 2 of the chip and see if we have what we're looking for. And since, yeah, so I really like being able to play music in my stream. I'm going to do this more often. And if, even if the thing doesn't get taken down, you'll be able to watch the repair on the main channel where I will be able to remove the music without there being any problem. I, okay, so first thing that I notice here is Anel appears to have learned how to solder from the Apple School of Soldering, where you keep solder balls uh, just rolling around the machine. Great job. Anel, Anel don't, you, don't you dare be a genius. Once you start soldering at the level of CSAT, come on. We don't have one bathroom for 500 employees. I shouldn't be saying this because he has to fix so much of the shit that I fuck up on a daily basis that his laundry list is way longer than mine. <laughs> his, he has a lot more things to, to be aggravated at than I do. At him. Okay, so let's see. What do we get here? All right, so we have four volts on input. 4.6. Now, this, yeah, we have five volts coming in from the charger. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have up here? Let's send to the diode. Five volts. 4.6. That seems like a usual drop for the diode. Now he says he's replaced the chip and that there's no short circuit. So let's see if, if it is the input. Now usually if I put 20 volts there, if I put 20 volts in the input and I saw a big drop, then I could say I, get, I can kind of understand that the, the diode could be an issue. But here I don't really have a way of telling if that's what, what's that issue because it's a very small voltage drop at a very low voltage. He asked about my brakes. Yeah, I got a new set of brakes to replace. I got some brakes from, uh, what's the name of it? Empowered Cycles. There's some $120, $130 set of brakes. I'm excited for them to arrive to replace my... My front brakes are so messed up. I mean, the pads are messed up. The handle is messed up. Above all, the thing that's the most messed up is the, is the rotor. So that rotor got all scratched up and banged up when I, uh, made, when I, when I met somebody that did not have blinker fluid. 130 bucks down the drain for the brakes, but it's worth it because I don't want to spend 130 bucks for the brakes, but I also like being able to stop. Okay. So let's see what happens if we replace the diode. Here's the thing, even if the voltage is going through, if that diode is not letting the amount of amperage go through that I need, then that could be a cause of our problem. Could you give me very rush estimate repairability for me posting a picture? No, I hate I hate that stuff. Uh, I'm I'm being an asshole right now, and I understand that. But every time somebody says, "Can you tell?" Like, can, here's what they do. Here's what they do. They say, "Can you tell how fixable this is for me posting a picture?" And I go, "Sure." And then they do some. Then they do some fucking shit like this. I'm like, "Okay, so like this is my board. This is the sector. So this is what this looks like. Can you tell me?" And it's like, "What the fuck, man?" So I just say no to that automatically now, because the. Ugh. Just, no. Fucking no. You know how many fucking iPhone 2G pictures taken at night with no light on the other side of the room at the board I get? No. That's the other thing, is even if I do have a nice picture of that section, I don't know what's wrong with the rest of it. 
And then every time I've done that, people hold me to the time frame and price estimate and all that shit that I told them based on the little picture, not knowing that their ISL or their SMC took 16 volts in the face. I can't do it. I got in trouble so many times doing that. Can you tell me how much it would cost based on the picture? Yeah, it would be 150 for that. And they show up and say, oh, by the way, my SMC got 16 volts. And it's like, mother... Ah! No, not doing that. I can't do it. All right, that diode is nice and crooked. That diode is as crooked as our country's politics and investigational process. No collusion. I'm just having fun. I like having an excuse to play that clip. <laughs> Every time Veneera comes in, I play that clip now. Right. Let's see if we have any changes here. I agree, fantasy novel. I think it's all a joke at this point. Okay, we are still stuck at 5.17 volts. So we're still stuck at 5 volts. Oh, Paul Daniels' software is doing what Paul Daniels' software does. Let's try it again. He's trying to sabotage my board repairs. There we go, 4.6, same difference. Yeah, let's see if our enable signal is present. Enable is present. Output is 1.9. Right, time to measure some of these resistors in this area. So, so R6908 is supposed to be 0 ohms.
So next I want to see if the system is what's influencing it. So there's a resistor over here at zero ohms between PP3V42 underscore G3Hot creation and the PP3V3 underscore G3Hot and the circuit output. So let's find R6923 and remove it. Wait a second, it's already been removed. Interesting. So it's definitely not an issue where the system is stuck. It's definitely not an issue of the system bringing it down because there's no resistor there. Yeah, so check it out. See, that resistor is not there. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Hmm. Let's check R6920. So my second theory here is that R6920 has gone bad and it's actually current limiting this. Let's check our feedback resistors. Supposed to be 47k, it's 33, good enough. What? And R6913 is supposed to be 1.47 kilo ohms, and you're. Yeah, so you're doing your job. Come on. Work for it, work. Damn you, bastard. Might as well put the resistor on since 
that brings PP3V3 underscore G3 hot to the rest of the board. Yes, yeah, so the system is not bringing it down. Oh, there's another feedback resistor here. R6910 is supposed to be 115 kilo ohms. Putting the chip through a heat cycle did something interesting.
Ask Paul to test it out later. Tell him that that's the new better one. Okay. Did you just disappear, Chip? Oh, you did. Fuck you, fucking America. Hmm. This board seems like it wants to be thrown in the GTFO pile. I kind of want to throw this in the permanent GTFO pile.
come to a ROS. Oh, you need the Santa case was really a pain. Ah, okay. Here. I hate iPhones. I hate iPhones. This one uses the same PCB uh, as the one I have on order, so. Um, okay, should actually be. Interesting, but you know, it's spinning. Huh? Yeah. And, but, I mean, and, and, and I recovered 20 gigabytes, so. Yeah. Yoink. All right, well, here, hold that. I need that. I think you guys understand what you're doing. Yeah. 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 My boy. You took that boy, didn't you? I'm finding you a I need a complete donor. Oh, was it the heavy one he had? Yes, and he found it. And now he knows where it is, so it's not it's not hidden anymore. It's only hidden if people don't know where it is. I've known where that is for a long time. I've just put off showing you that I know where it is because now I know it's moving again. You may notice every border under there is missing the audio LDO. board is a flat plane, just like the earth, and we are starting from scratch. Speaker. Yeah, the speaker.
Whoops. Motherfucker. Tweezers. Fuck out tweezers.
Eight viewers on Vimeo. That's a record. Hot air. South Valley Computer said Drive Saver just left here according to their shell schlub. Average ticket for cell phone data recovery is 900 to 1200. Oh yeah, screw that shit. And that's the thing, a lot of the hard drive tickets that are 900 to 1200 are usually the $10,000 tiers at Drive Savers. 
Uh, I actually registered stevesavers.com, so we're going to be doing some videos of data recovery soon with our lead data recovery technician, Steve, at stevesavers.com. At Drive Savers, they were an astronaut suit. At Steve Savers, they were a V-neck with their chest hair sticking out. Exact opposite. All right, we're going to give this... It cost a bit to do that. So I spent about, let's see... 56, 700 or 7,000 on the clean room space, uh, the laminar flow bench, about 5,000 bucks in one PC3000 card, three to 5,000 bucks in another PC3000 card, three to 5,000 bucks in some other SSD data recovery tool, about two to 4,000 dollars in tools for replacing, moving head stacks and all this stuff and doing platter swaps. And I just spent a few thousand bucks in some camera stuff so that I can actually start recording everything in that room yep. and a nice sounding second microphone. But is it going to be worth it? Because I want to show people that this whole, like, everybody, astronauts wearing a spacesuit to do data recovery is fucking ridiculous. Uh, here's one of the things that kills me about Drive Savers, too. The Drive Savers cleaning corrosion from some Samsung phone. Oh, it's so funny. It's so hysterical. Let's see, where is this shit? Uh, they, uh, I have to see if Jess has the link to this. But they, they're cleaning it. I think it's a Samsung S3. And they're ultrasonicing it, and they said, yeah, you may have to do a little bit of cleaning afterwards. You're gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning afterwards because they're using a Branson. They're using the shittiest ultrasonic you can get. I used to have that piece of shit, Branson. Uh, I can't find the video. I'm sure Jess still has a link to it. it it's funny, I'll go over it later. Was well, the resistor supposed to be sitting on the pad of the very large black box? Um, I don't know what you mean. I need more, I need more than that. I need more information. That pad. Uh, you, you, you feed me some more info, man. Yeah, I got no idea what the fuck you're talking about, I'm afraid. All right, so let's see if we have any change here after what we've done. You can do node for memory swap data recovery. No, because there's no, because that, that's, nobody's going to pay me enough to actually do that. Nobody's going to pay enough to make students doing something like that worthwhile, economically, or viable. Okay, this should have cooled off by now. The bottom left corner, somebody says. Hmm. Reset my charger. That's not happy. The W6, as Nick said. This is, I expect an answer from Lewis. To what? Uh, that's, that's retarded. What a retarded question. Maybe. The bottom left of the set of eight W6 chips. What the fuck is a W6 chip? Uh, bottom left of the eight W6 chips. Bro, what the fuck is a W5 chip? Uh, D6902, U6903, C6910. I have no idea what the fuck you're all talking about. Okay, here we go. C7042. Somebody's speaking English now. C7042. Oh, yeah, who gives a shit about that? That's, that's pointless. Yeah, we get the fuck out of here. All right, threw that shit out there. Yeah, thanks for spotting that. But I, that does, that's not gonna have anything to do with my current problem, which is USB-C does not want to even light up. Uh -oh. Let's see, do we get any voltage into the board now?
Interesting, zero. What if my charger died? I think I blew up my Apple original charger. Do we have a USB-C one? I can get you one. <laughs> Did you, you stole my keys, didn't you, already, from there? What kind of... <laughs> yeah, Those are mag safes. I know, but there was a USB-C. Oh, this is his USB-C. Yeah, I got him one of these things. See? Oh, nice. Right. I want a white white charger. I still take the sixty watt. That's a, no, that does. The, well, you want? What do you want it for? Just if I take a six, if I see a sixty, I'm throwing it away. Oh, I'm not trying to boot a fifteen-inch board with a sixty watt charger. <laughs> okay. Are there any sixty watt chargers left so I can throw them away? No, they're they were hiding from you. I'm selling them all. Well, I, I want to just test this for now, but then I have to... Are you there 60 watt or 85? All right. I bring it right back. I killed my Apple original charge. Okay, five point five volts in. PP three V three under. Oh my God! Okay, after all that work, we are right back where we started, and I have a dead charger. So, one point seven volts on output of PP three V three underscore G three hot, and we have replaced every element of the PP three V three underscore G three hot circuit. Now I do see something funny over here. What is that? What are you? Why are you bridged? That's CPU high comp feedback. Seems like it's not going to have anything to do with our primary issue. <laughs> Wait, no, that's supposed to be tied together. Yeah, that, that's, that's one piece. Alright, that's not it. Okay, now I'm really... Now I got no idea. Yeah, it's going to be the one that goes behind you when doing data recovery. What? The Steve cam. Yeah, we, are, we have to have a Steve Savers cam. In addition to just the one inside the bay. I think I do, Nasara. I think I do.
WTF is that? Whoa. That's not by something that's important to PP3v3, I don't think. And even if it was, PP3v3 would show up as shorted, which it did not. So I'm not getting excited just yet. Die out to ground on the DCN line. Hmm. Wonder if that's what could be doing something funny. It does have a little solder ball next to it. We're still not getting PP3v3 underscore G3 hot yet after removing that other solder blob mess. Next up, let's get this diode off. Hmm. I don't want to use hot air because it's so close to the damn ports, but it doesn't seem to want to come off with the tweezers. What if I just do this?
Oh, no. Another boy that gives me 30, three to three thirty million um, three or thirty thousand kilometers to ground. And this one one hundred thirty um, to ground. One moment. Be right back. Hi, right, Paul. How's it going? They don't put TD drives. It's, uh, How's it going? It's terrible. What's wrong with this? Uh, and warranty return. That's all I'm doing. That's that's my function here now. Is warranty return. What's wrong? What was wrong with this? U8900. How? What was wrong with it? It's still kernel panicking. But I just used it. It had flux all over all kinds of other shit on the board. The Ooh. case screws are all kinds of fucked up. So it's gonna be one of those. Uh, Here's your money back. Get the fuck away. I think. Should we start putting little rubber pieces in the bottom of the board like what Apple did with the 2014 and <laughs> Just shove a Jolly Rancher in there for the time being. It is an Apple refurb board because it did have a rubber on it. Yeah, because they have the rubber there. We should put our own rubbers. But then there was all flux all around this. There was some flux around here, around here. Um, whatever. Who's getting spanked? Is it me? Did I do that one? You, you but no, they, they, they're fucking around with this board themselves oh, or somebody okay. else or something's going on. Okay, because we would not have given it back to them without much flux on it. Like, why? You we're doing U8900, there was flux all over here. This thing is all burnt up and everything. So the whole thing's right yeah. It's not the diode. No? It's actually not any component in the PP3V3 circuit since I removed all of them. Oh, God. I know. Hey, Paul, one? how's it going? That sounds terrible. You want to stream it? No. They're waiting for you. No. That sounds awful. Yeah, it actually d it still makes 1.7 volts even when you remove the thing that attaches it to the board. So the feedback trace yeah. bad? No. Well, the oh, feedback I trace. Yeah, I replaced every component individually. I actually I wiped it. I took everything off and I started from scratch, and I wicked. Yeah. I'll, I'll stick to sound problems. <laughs> no, no. I've had I've had that problem. Come on, come on, no, go. I've go. had that problem three days ago, go. and I still haven't solved it. No, there's no go way. Through. Where can you go from there? <laughs> Where could you go from there? <laughs> I don't know, Anel, but you, no, you've Louis, been streaming Louis more Louis so you got practice. You're gonna explore with the audience. <laughs> Chat is gonna help. Chat is gonna get it. Right. Test. Mine is on? Yeah, it works. All right, let's see if yours is on. Are you mute? Help. Is that the case of the transmitter? That microphone looks Can you move the transmitter so I don't have to stare at your crotch to see if it's mute? Yeah, be little... Say something? Hi. Yeah, it's, it's working. I saw the... Test. Testing. Hello. All Here. right. Here. 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 All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Everybody watching, so this here is Nell, and he is going to be finishing the repair on this board. Okay, where do we start from here? Let's check out... Eh. 
Everybody wish Anel really good luck. Yeah. He needs it. There was no liquid damage. Oh, if it was a CD3215, I, when I yeah, disconnect the link from pp 3 v 3 g 3 hot to the creation chip, even when I disconnect the link between it and the rest of the board, it's still only 1.7 volts. Yep. Yeah, He's already fixed two or three boards that I couldn't figure out or destroyed, so I have, I have faith. I think more people should have faith in it now. Okay, let's see. Well, at least you get to see what you're doing. Uh, multimeter software. It's on. Oh. Stream deck. Gotcha. Let's see, we take... 1.6. Uh, uh oh. This is what I get for doing cable management. <coughs> Why did I ever do cable management? So we're still getting 1.6. Uh, our input is 5. 4.6, that's normal. Fun guys. <laughs> okay, let's see our board view. Um, oh, geez. Is it too low or is it just not next to my face? Can you guys hear me? Test, test, one, two. We can hear? Awesome. All right. Uh, hmm. How do we approach this? I need... Hey Camille, get me please, bro. Please, bro? Yeah, please, bro. What? Okay, please, bro is gonna try to. Yeah, this is. You replaced the entire circuit. I still don't know why we don't have 3v3. That is mind boggling. So what are you thinking the problem is here? Um, I'm feeling like there's an internal short somewhere in the circuit. How would you tell? What are we internal short and input, output, feedback trace? Well, output because we have input but no output, and I'm about to inject three volts into it and see what gets hot. Go for it. Camille's coming with please bro right now. Huh? Camille is coming with please bro as we speak. Please bro. Please, bro. Please, bro, find hot. With please, bro. Please, bro. Ah, please, bro, thermal. Bigger tweezers. Uh. Thank you. Okay.
Please, bro, DC. Um, So we're going to move over to our thermal cam. Hey, Lois? Yeah. Are we at thermal cam? Or? Uh, uh, is there anything on the screen that no. I shouldn't be showing? No, no you're social fine. security numbers. There. Okay, it takes one amp. And. We're hot. Our 3v3 circuit. Q-tips. Fuck it. What? Are you pulling like over two amps or what? I'm pulling four amps at one volt. Pulling four? No, four, like whole four amps. Oh, okay, so see so how good the implement is. Oh. Yeah, this isn't really telling me much. The only thing that's warm is the spot where the cable's in. Huh? The only spot that's warm is the spot where the cable is. Yeah, that's such a major... Yeah, um... If you really want to, like, stop freaking out, resolder the cable somewhere else, maybe it literally is one of the components over there. But I doubt it. Is any section of the, the here internally shorted? I mean, do, uh, do any of those pins have an internal short on them? Like feedback or VBST or anything? If there's anybody I trust to find that short. <laughs> I need to add all the other scenes to this. Oh, 
That's a lot of flux, huh? A lot of Bernie flux. Oh? Garbage youth have cleaned that up. You can't see shit from here. Is that a ground plane? Or is that the shore? Oh. Oh, that's ground. Oh. Unconnected. Uh -oh. That's ground. Actually, nothing obvious. Uh, Aha! Uh -huh. What'd you get? Our pin three is point eight to ground. Oh. Okay, but is that good because of the inductor? And does it go through the inductor going point eight to ground or no, right now? This is our regulator. If you look at our board view. Yeah. yeah. It's this guy. Pin four. Pin three. This pin one, uh, the pin three to ground is point eight. Okay, you got rid of that resistor already. The zero <coughs> there. No. The on, on the right Oop. side. No. Oh wait, where? This? Oh, this. Yeah, I got yeah. rid of this. Okay, so either the caps or uh, or that voltage divider there. No, I don't. I would I would bet on one of the caps. Yeah. I'm yeah, but saying. he said he replaced all of them, so I don't know. Well, you replaced it with the bad one. I doubt that. Let's see, this cap to ground. Oh, it's... This voice is Camille. It's not so new, new guy. Yeah, this is point four to ground. Measuring uh, one of this, just like right this one of these caps. Okay, so um, jumpers across and let's go. Hey, Lewis, yeah. your output shorted to ground. Yeah, the the Three caps weeks. that are filtering the output. Uh, maybe, maybe the caps, something in the circuit still shorted to ground. That's true. interesting. Because no, I, I thought I wiped all of them off the board. Well, he took the system out. He took the the system resistor out. So this is just the supply side, and one of the caps is clear, clearly shorted. Do it. Do you want me to do, do it? Do it. Jumper across and let's go. What? This is this is the fun one. You can solder both of them and just watch it burn. Okay. That's no, no, fine. Just to do this one. Whatever. All right. All right. All right. All right. So if I were to, I would go on to the. I'll put on one of these caps. Try the inductor, maybe the second. What do you no, call it? No, because the inductor is the one that gets hot. Oh, okay. So this one's so far out of the system that. Oh, it's like a rando cap. <coughs> Actually, oh, that's really far. Hold on. Uh, what size are these two? They're all four. Oh, this is 402. I need a 402 one. They're pretty big. Now, uh, Lewis is chilling right now. He's doing administrative stuff. Okay, this guy. Let's see, big inductor. <sighs> Thank you, Zero Effect. Appreciate it. I almost burned my finger. Remember that that burn from yesterday? I got a fucking blister. Okay, that's on the board. Eh, do it a little pretty better. Yes, administrative stuff is like executive time, but actually inventory and that kind of stuff. Okay, it's, it's good enough. <coughs> so let's try please bro one more time. Please bro give solution.
Uh, hi, hi, come to the store. Fix the board. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Four amps. It still doesn't tell me what gets hot. Mm -hmm. We might have to do some purging. Huh? You might have to do some purging. Oh, it's just this? Fuck. Um. Okay, what are you, you're at two volts now? And how many amps you at? Well, no, it, it comes down to like one volt. Oh, so you got over, get, over get, current protection? Yeah, over current protection, look at that. One volt, four amps. All right, just, just, just. But. Can I raise this? No, no, that's it, at this point. What about the uh, magical button? What does the magical button tell you? My wire gets hot. Is that the wire over here? Like that? Anything else that's straight? Something on the other side? This looks like ambient heat from the other side. Well, no, because the other side wouldn't have anything to do. Uh, really? That looks pretty fucking hot to me. Oh. Yeah, just uh, un unclick the button, see what happens. Ow. Yeah, yeah, th there we go, there we go. It's the other side. See, that's ambient. Ah, yeah. ah, burn my finger. Lewis, it's all your fault. You said you took off everything. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's front side. There's... What is, what is the show on? It's 3v3. directly opposite on the other side of but the there's board. But there's probably a filter cap that's... But he burned himself so he didn't get to see what it was. <laughs> Oh, I, I can see it because it's like burned. Oh, look at you. Ow, my finger. Can you show people? Oh, you have the microscope cam? Yeah, the overhead or... No, overhead won't won't help. Uh, All right. Let's see, he is over here. Oh, look at him. Yeah. That's a crusty little boy. What is it? What is the line is that? Yeah, identify component, Anel, please. Board view. Yeah, he's just one of the filter caps. Yeah, it's one of the filter caps, legitimately. It was, he was just on the other side. I don't think you got him. Goddamn. Yeah, it's the, look, look at him. It's the we, we both missed this, because I was looking at this first, and then I spent 40 minutes on it. Metal one right here. Oh. We both missed this. At least one of us found it. Well... Until it burned someone in the finger, until it was obviously there. Oh yeah, these this won't this won't come off now, would it? Now caps no. to ground are very hard, tough with tweezers. Yep. So okay. You can kind of flood it with solder and use the big the big tip if you want. That's nah. like the, the old school ghetto no, way of doing it. Gun it. Just careful because you're like around a bunch of shit. That's. No, that, that this is an inductor. What's that big tip next to it? This is an inductor. This is something not important. Mmm. Oh, this is really big nozzle. Yeah, it's got a lot of pins, so okay. I don't know. If okay, okay. Yes. Okay, I don't trust it. Yeah, do like a solder flood or something. Wait, someone bought the door? Someone bought the door? All right, no, it's just 300 bucks sold. No, no, I don't know yet. You could check. People are asking if Kevin comes with the door. No? Okay. But you can have a little bit of Kevin with the door. Alright, flooding with solder. Come here, mofo. You burn my finger, you fuck. Yeah, just get, get both of them, try to bridge both of the pins, and just it's just gonna come off. Yeah, don't be scared, just keep the solder here and go. Did it come off? Yes. Dope. Now, a little wicking never hurt anybody. Okay, now that I removed those caps, I'm gonna check our... Yeah, yeah, do that. Impedance to the ground before I start coughing up a lung. Uh, let me just clean that up real quick. Yeah, I want to clean this up. 
Of the stream, no. Oh, um, put OBS up on the on on your screen here. Or is OBS over there? Do you want the the trackpad here? Wait. Because like your focus and stream focus are like, yeah. slightly different. Oh. This guy? Oh, the zoom? On the camera. Oh, here? Yeah. Oh. No. It's like this Oh, this. Oh, I know. Yeah? This is your focus for the camera. Okay. So, make sure that this is in focus with this guy over here. Okay. Give me some wick. I, I need to get rid of this. You know what? Nothing. Yeah, just get this shit off my board. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see if... Wait, that's that's the compressor right now? Yes. Holy cow. So let's check our feed... Let's check our 3v3 to ground. So this is our 3v3, this is our ground, and we have our short is gone. So if I put these if I put the caps back from the board onto here, we should have a working 3v3. Louis, do you have a donor board? This one? Did you check if your short's gone? Yeah, the short's gone. Did you measure it? Yes. 200k. Well, that's our SMC, I think. Hmm? That's SMC, isn't it? No, SMC's the other guy. Oh. <laughs> I need a smaller nozzle. A lot of noises. No, because my shit isn't even focused. Oh yeah, there you go. What do you do? Can I get you? No, I'd like to look over here, so... Okay. I'm going to put these happy capacitors on here. Trying, trying to focus, still figuring this out. There we go. That's a little better, though. There we go. All right, and then we have to get our resistor that we removed back on the board. I don't have a zero on resistor. 
Did he, is he gone forever? Oh, uh, did, did you not have it with like on some tweezers? No, I, I put it on the side of my table. That's gone. What, what do you mean? Zero ohm resistor or another donor board with it. Oh, wait, that was here. You put him like on our right side of this. Yeah, I know. He's gone. Right? Yeah, yeah, he's gone forever. Can you give me a new donor board with it? Uh, which one is this? It doesn't matter, it's a zero ohm resistor. But the size matters. Ah. Uh, yeah, I got you. Alright. Size matters? The package. It's never the size. Louis, does size matter? I should probably refocus that. Uh, there you go, guys. Sorry for the eye strain. Yeah. This one good? The zero over here? Yeah. The Very big, cool. the big old boy. Okay, just gonna make it look nice and then let the board cool down and we should get 20 volts and this should turn on. Hopefully. Uh, did, you, did you remove many more things or, or uh, is it okay? See, the zero ohm resistor actually works as a fuse because if it, it goes over a tenth of a <laughs> watt, the resistor dies. If you short the pins, okay. you have Let's a one fire mod. Cam, have this rapidly cool for like 10 seconds. Ready for desk cam, Lewis. Rapid cool technology. Patent pending. Okay. Should be good enough. Yep. Let's see. Did I remove anything else? Anything else dead on this board? Yes, but it's a wire with um, with water channeling. Looks fine to me. So, we're going to grab our ammeter. I'm going to plug this in. You guys can see we are taking 5 volts. Changes to 20. Yeah. And it takes it 1 on. amp and Let's it go, looks baby. like it turns on. Yep. Fan spin. Fan spin. Woo. <laughs> so what were you able to find when I wasn't? So apparently one of the filter caps on our 3v3 circuit is shorted to ground. Now having the entire 3v3 circuit in this one area of the board You'd think that the, the error would be there, but they decided, hey, let's put some, some random filter caps to the left, to the right, behind the board. Why the fuck not? Because we're Apple. Yeah, on the other side. So I just got side, beat in board repair by someone from Staten Island. Yeah. I, I quit. <laughs> oh, this is still... Eh. No, Turn seriously, off. good job. All right, Lewis, thank you. you. Aren't you from Staten? But it was a board that I couldn't figure out that I gave to you that you couldn't figure out, so you made me figure it out. It's the Staten Island Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my job here is done. I hope you guys learned something, and please get me out of here. <laughs>